The most famous volcanic eruption within the United States occurred in May of 1980 when a major explosive eruption caused the north flank of Mount St. Helens to collapse. This collapse caused widespread devastation, $4 billion in damage, and caused ash to fall as far away as Oklahoma. Although eruptions from this volcano are well remembered, it is not the only volcano capable of producing an eruption in the continental United States. In fact, the western United States contains 39 active volcanoes which have erupted at some point in the last 10,000 years. These volcanoes are spread across 10 states which include New Mexico, California, and Wyoming. Thus, it might seem difficult to track all of these volcanoes since they are all capable of erupting. This video will discuss the 5 volcanoes within this group which are most likely to produce the next eruption within the country. Volcanoes in Alaska will not be included in this list of continental US volcanoes, otherwise the video will be solely populated by volcanoes within that state such as Mount Redoubt and Mount Augustine. To determine which volcanoes are most likely to produce the next eruption, I will use a number of factors. The first will be the frequency and number of eruptions within the last 10,000 years. The next will be the number of likely eruptions in the last 1,000 years as this shorter time period is more likely to contain evidence of small phreatic eruptions which would otherwise get lost in the geologic record. Third, modern volcanic activity related to the volcanoes such as fumaroles, earthquake swarms, and uplift will be considered. It might seem strange to make this list, but consider this. Since the founding of the United States in 1776, 54 distinct eruptions have occurred in the continental United States. Despite the frequency of eruptions, the first 21 years of the 21st century have been unusually quiet, meaning that we might be overdue. You might note that this video is slightly longer than normal as its extended length is brought to you by Skillshare, the sponsor of this episode. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning that there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. When I traveled around the planet, I often wished that I had better first-hand knowledge of how to take a photo of a fun geologic feature such as an erupting volcano. Luckily, Skillshare has a fun class which will teach you this called Fundamentals of DSLR Photography, which is taught by Justin Bridges. One thing I learned is that on an overcast day, a higher ISO is needed to prevent a photo from ending up as too dark. Skillshare wants to inspire a season of creativity and learning, so they are now offering new students with a one-month free trial. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. The fifth most likely volcano to erupt within the country is one few people are aware of. Located on the shoreline of the Salton Sea within Southern California is a small volcanic complex known as the Salton Buttes. This small volcano is a group of rhyolite lava domes which have erupted three times in the last 10,000 years. All of these eruptions were explosive in nature, and some even deposited thick layers of obsidian. The justification for this volcano being placed fifth on this list is twofold. First is one of the most seismically active volcanoes in the entire United States. Frequent earthquake swarms are common underneath this volcano and it has dozens of associated hydrothermal features. These features are primarily mud pots and fumaroles which regularly produce large quantities of volcanic gases. Also, it is located adjacent to the San Andreas Fault. Not only that, it is located on the section of the San Andreas Fault expected to be the site of the next major rupture within the state. Thus, when the next big earthquake occurs, it could trigger an eruption in this small volcanic complex. The fourth most likely volcano to erupt within the country is located north of the town of Mammoth in central eastern California. Stretching from Mammoth Mountain to Mono Lake is a 30 mile long chain of volcanoes consisting of dozens of recent vents. Although this series of vents is considered to be three separate volcanoes, others claim it could be classified as a single volcano. Supposing it was a single volcano, it has erupted 8 times in the last 1,000 years and 20 times in the last 10,000 years. The most recent series of eruptions occurred in Mono Lake in 1890 which added to Pahoa Island. Today, there is increased likelihood of another eruption due to a recent intrusion of magma which reached a mere 2 miles in depth from 1980 to 1982. In the southern part of the chain, near Mammoth Mountain, this intrusion began releasing large amounts of carbon dioxide onto the surface resulting in high amounts of tree kill. Thus, while these elevated levels of carbon dioxide remain, an eventual eruption in the adjacent area seems quite probable. 
The third most likely volcano to erupt is Mount Baker, which can be found in far northern Washington state near the border of Canada. The justification for this volcano being placed on this list is simply its recent eruptive frequency. In the last 1,000 years, it has erupted 18 times. Luckily, almost all of these eruptions are relatively small in nature, creating limited effects. Today, thick plumes of vapor from its summit fumaroles are frequently incorrectly reported as evidence of a new eruption. This fumarole-related activity indicates that the volcano is still very active and could erupt in the next 50 years. The second most likely volcano to erupt is Mount Hood, which is located in north-central Oregon. During the 1800s, it was an incredibly active volcano which produced five distinct moderately-sized eruptions. The last of these occurred in 1869. In the past decade, Mount Hood has shown a slow but steady increase in overall volcanic activity. Each year brings increased earthquake swarms to the volcano, which seems to get shallower and stronger over time. Fumarole related activity and uplift also increase, making this one of the most likely volcanoes to produce the next eruption in the country. The most likely volcano to produce an eruption should not come as a surprise as it's Mount St. Helens. Of the 244 recorded volcanic eruptions within the lower 48 states in the last 10,000 years, 44 of these originated from Mount St. Helens. In the last 1,000 years, 22 distinct eruptions originated from its edifice. Eruptions similar in size to its infamous 1980 eruption, rating on the Volcanic Explosivity Index as a 5, occurred in 1480, 1482, and 1800. This volcano still produces regular earthquake swarms, which is also responsible for the most recent eruption within the lower 48 states, which lasted from 2004 to 2008. Since it is the most active volcano in the country, it is also the most likely to erupt next. I want to remind my viewers that this list is largely opinion-based interspersed with scientific evidence. One of the other 34 volcanoes could surprise us with an unexpected eruption, such as perhaps the craters of the Moon Volcano in Idaho or the Black Rock Desert Volcanic Field in Utah. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.